getting ready to make some candy apples so I've got my apples already on candy apple sticks and I've got a couple of different kinds so I've got those washed dried and skewered and set aside now we need to make our candy mixture so what I have here is two cups of granulated sugar and I'm adding to that one cup of corn syrup Just scrape the extra off of there and a half cup of water And then I'm just stirring this together. There we go. Now we're going to take this over to the stove, put it on high heat, and keep stirring while we dissolve the sugar. Now that my sugar is dissolved, I've been stirring constantly. You can tell when the sugar is well dissolved because it gets really kind of clear and it'll be almost at a point where there's some bubbles, kind of like a light boil starting there. So what we're going to do is get our thermometer ready. It's going to go in in just a minute. But first, we're going to wash down the sides of the pan. We want to just wash down that sugar that's sitting on top of there so that it's all down in the pan. There we go. Then you're going to lay the thermometer in the pan go and stop stirring you're not going to stir this anymore you're just going to leave it and let the temperature rise now we're cooking this to 285 if you end up letting it go a little over don't worry too much recipes that I've seen are usually between 285 and 300 285 being the softer candy and 300 being the more crunchy so that is ready to come off of there and be very very careful because this thermometer can get very hot, even grabbing that is a little bit too warm for me. So, very carefully set this aside. The next step is to add the flavoring and coloring to this. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops of cinnamon flavoring, which goes so nice with the apples, a red food coloring, be very, very careful mixing this. It's very hot sugar, and if you splash any onto yourself, it will burn you. Um, the scary thing about working with hot sugar is that not only will it burn you, but if it gets on you and you smear it, all you're doing is spreading it, and it's just going to continue to burn on its way up so be really careful about that and how much color you add just depends on the intensity of the color you want in your sugar so I'm just going to stir that in there we go. That's a nice sparkling red. So I think we're good. 